whoever keeps acting wickedly now, let him go on acting wickedly with his crazy self. Whoever is filthy, let him go on being made filthy and dying his filth. Whoever is righteous, however, let him go on doing what is righteous and building the kingdom of God through Israel's Messiah and Israel's Messianic coming out of Israel. And whoever is holy, let him go on being made holy and being used of God for the kingdom to come and the will of God to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Pay attention, says Yeshua. I am coming soon. And my rewards are with me to give to each person according to what he has done. I am the A and the Z, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. How blessed are those who wash their robes in my blood so that they have the right to eat from the tree of life and go through the gates into the city. We have the right now to eat of the tree of life that empowers us by the grace of God, to send us, launch us, through the gates into the city of New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven on to old Jerusalem, to transform it, and to change it, and to regenerate it, and to regenerate all Israel, so that all Israel is saved, and to set up the throne of regeneration, so that the whole earth is regenerated, and brought back, into the heart and the dream of our Father God. Number nine, the bride. I, Yeshua, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the Messianic congregations. I am the root and offspring of David, the King of Israel, and I am the bright and morning star. The Spirit and the bride say, Come. Let anyone who hears say, Come. And let anyone who is thirsty, Come. Let anyone who wishes to come, Let him come and take the water of life free of charge. Revelation 22. One of the seven angels having the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues approached me and said, Come, I will show you. The bride, the wife of the Lamb. The bride, the wife. The bride, the wife of the Lamb. So he carried me off in the Spirit to the top of a great high mountain and showed me the holy city. The bride, the wife, the holy city. Yerushalayim coming down out of heaven from God. Where do I say that the bride is? In Revelation 21, I say that the bride, the wife of the Lamb is in heaven, and the bride, the wife of the Lamb is coming down out of heaven onto the earth. And I say that the bride, the wife, is the holy city, New Jerusalem, that is coming down out of heaven onto old Jerusalem in Israel to transform Israel, and to transform the whole creation. Number 11. It's the Messianic stupid, and then the thousand year reign. If Christ is made unto us wisdom and righteousness, and set apart to God sanctification and holiness, then I base my end times understanding on this premise. Christ, the Messiah of Israel, King of the Jews and King of the whole universe and Savior of the world is not stupid. According to Zechariah, he is coming back. He is coming back to fight for Israel, and that fight is set to take place in Jerusalem, Israel. Assuming Jesus is not stupid, why would he snatch up with him on his way to fight for Israel in Jerusalem a bunch of don't give a damn, damn about Israel 
blunderers who are babbling religiosities and totally clueless about what's going down because they've been too busy counting their blessings to get ready for anything but a cloud with a harp loft up in the sky by and by. He is not stupid. If you're not at least engaged and training, you ain't making this trip, Jack. You are about to find a whole new meaning for left behind. Relevance is the order of today. Get relevant and get ready. He is coming. If you want to go on this first call, if you want to make this first resurrection, You better get relevant, and you want to get ready. Apostle Paul wanted to go real bad. It is because of Messiah Yeshua, he said, My Lord, that I gave up everything and regarded all as garbage, dung, in order to gain the Messiah and be found in union with him. You mean Paul hadn't been saved yet? I just keep listening. Having that righteousness which comes through the Messiah's faithfulness. The righteousness from God based on trust. Well, he had righteousness. The righteousness of Yeshua. Was he saved? Yes, I gave it all up in order to know him. That is to know the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings as I am being conformed to his death, so that somehow I might arrive at being resurrected from the dead. Keep listening. It is not that I have already obtained it, already reached the goal. No, I keep pursuing it in the hope of taking hold of that for which the Messiah Yeshua laid hold on me. Brothers, I don't think of myself as having gotten there yet, but one thing I do, I do this, I forget everything that's behind me, and I'm straining forward toward what lies ahead. What was he looking at that lies right ahead? I keep pursuing the goal in order to win the prize. What is the prize that Apostle Paul wants to win? It's a prize offered by God's upward calling in the Messiah Yeshua. Oh, there's going to be a snatching up. There's going to be a call from the sky that says, Come up and ride with me on the way to Jerusalem for the final battle of Armageddon to usher in the thousand year reign on earth. Come and ride with me. An upward call. Therefore, as many of us as are mature, let's keep paying attention to this. Only let your conduct, let your lifestyle fit the level we have already reached. Don't back down and don't backtrack. Brothers, join in imitating me. Be just like me, straining forward with an urgency, listening for that upward call when Jesus comes through in what theologians have called the rapture, which the Word of God calls a snatching up and a snatching away. Imitate me and pay attention to those who live according to this lifestyle that we set for you. For many, and even now I say it with tears, many Christians so-called live as enemies of the Messiah's execution state, the Messiah's crucified 
lifestyle. But Paul is saying, still saying, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ the Messiah lives in me. And the life I now live, I live by the faith of that Messiah Yeshua that lives in me who has finished all things and who is finishing all things through me so that I fulfill my destiny and see the age changed all around me on the earth. These that are the enemies of the crucified lifestyle are headed for destruction. Why? Because their God is their belly. They are proud of what they ought to be ashamed of since they're concerned about the things of the world, their stuff. But we're citizens of, citizens of heaven, and it is from there that we expect a deliverer. He's looking for Jesus to come. The Lord Yeshua, the Messiah, He will change the bodies we have that's what he's looking for. That's the prize. He will change the bodies we have in this humble state and make them like his glorious body using the power which enables him to bring everything under his control right here on the earth. And Paul has got everything out in the open and laid it all down so that he could make this first resurrection, so he could be caught up in this rapture, in this snatch up of Jesus Christ on his way to fight for the Jews and to fight for Israel in Jerusalem and Armageddon and set up fully and completely his kingdom right there in Jerusalem and set in order the Messianics who are already expecting to be part of the kingdom millennial government and to be servants to their Messiah. And what do you say?